Good evening, everyone, um, <clears throat> and welcome to a late, late night, late night Rome, <laughs> Rome by night, although, as you can see, it's by day. Um, so the poll that I quickly ran on Twitter was tied at 10 votes, but then um, when the next 10 votes came in, it was a big swing towards Deus Ex again. Unfortunately, when I tried to get <coughs> Deus Ex to run, uh, OBS wasn't having any of it. So I'm going to have to play around with that and try and get that working. But rest assured, I am going to be playing Deus Ex um, and the, the first one, uh, which I've never played before. I just literally watched the intro and I squeed in my seat at the 80s of it. Um, I was super into it. Uh, but uh that was not to be okay there we go i guess i just have music turned off at the moment in this oh there we go it was just taking a little while to come in okay now i'm seeing something on my on my mixer um all right let me just make sure i got my setup it's been a little while since i've streamed streamed a game i see a uh, couple of months since I played some Rome 2. Um, I guess I ended up getting a lot more work work done over the summer than <laughs> I was necessarily expecting, uh, and I didn't get as much streaming done as I was hoping. But there's still time. One of the one of the works got done I guess was the release of the mission files finally so if you are um, if you are a fan of the sprawl you can pick that up on drive through already I just today ordered the proofs they got confirmed so they should be coming through to me um, in whatever postage allows getting it kind of just post the Gen Con crunch so it shouldn't take too long to arrive and then as soon as i check those proofs and that they are good um we will be they will be for sale um but now is not the time for cyberpunk now is the time for ancient rome my my house the scipios the scipioni scipiones it's been a while. Uh, it is 2.41. Uh, those of you who watched have watched uh, watched me stream Rome before will know that I am kind of following along my game with uh, Livy's Perioikai, which are a... It's a late antique source um, that consists of a whole lot of book-by-book -book summaries of the historian Livy's... Uh, Ab Urbe Condita, the, from the foundation of the city, his history of Rome from its foundation by Romulus to his own day. Uh, and this is a sort of 300 years later uh, cliff notes, I guess, in really summary form. So we're in year 241. For the year 241, this is what the Perioke says. The war against the Carthaginians was conducted successfully by several commanders. Uh, and this actually pretty much mirrors what happened last time where I conquered the where I captured Corsica and Sardinia off the um, Carthaginians and also conquered Sicily Carthage is yet to be destroyed over here uh, the ultimate victory was won by the consul Gaius Lutatius near the Aegean Islands where he defeated the Carthaginian navy that's up in the north here not marked on the although maybe it's that I'm not sure about that uh, when the Carthaginians sued for peace, it was granted. I think, though, I am actually still at war with them. But that's the way it is in Total War. Because it's Total War. Um, if you are in the chat right now, let me know how the sound level is. It looks like it should be good based on my monitors, but I always like to check. Um... Carthaginian suit for peace, it was granted. When the Temple of Vesta was burning, Caecilius Metellus, the Pontifex Maximus, saved the holy objects from the fire. Two voting districts were added, called Valinia and Quirina. Um, that's the end of Book 19. Um, 
then into book 20, still continuing with 241, when the Falskins revolted, they were subdued on the sixth day and their surrender was accepted. A colony was founded at Spoletum, and for the first time an army was sent against the Ligures. Well, shall we send an army against the Ligures for the first time? The Ligures in my game have already been conquered by the Insubres. Who are my allies? Well, no, they're not. They're my. I remind myself of the situation here. Oh, they're my moderate enemies. Okay, because I'm allied with the Veneti. Well. In that case, I think that will happen. <clears throat> so, where are my armies? That is a sad army. Where are my real armies? Put a navy down them. here. That's probably good. How far can they get? Not very far. Um, get another navy over here. Oh, that's right, because I was going to attack these guys and I got... Hmm... So yeah, last time I was planning an attack on these guys and I think my ships actually went over there because I misclicked on it and started the war and then got thoroughly defeated because I hadn't actually intended it because I was waiting for this army here to come down. Which isn't a very tough army so I guess because it's undefended. Hmm. Alright, well it looks like I ended at the end of a turn. So I end my turn. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, one of the things about the Periogoi is that it doesn't strictly record year by year. I mean it does in that it follows Livy, but it's selective about what it accepts. Livy goes year by year in what's called the Analystic Tradition. Um, and so it goes from 241 and the next event it tells us about in the Perioikoi is 237. So murder, okay. Um the Athenians are in town. Oh, they've captured it. Um Yeah, so obviously the select the person who wrote the uh, Perioikoi summarized Libby decided that nothing important happened in the subsequent four years and so didn't record anything after recording those things that they did about 241. So Colchis was destroyed, oh, my boy, my corn maker, the Nori were destroyed and I built some ships, okay. So, yeah, let's bring you down here. Fleet reporting. It's a small fleet. It and is an honor to serve Rome. All right, I got to build up some more units here. Rome needs more ships. Hmm. Rome does need more ships. There's some artillery and some not artillery, and there's all my money. Oops. <laughs> well, I need a fleet to get over there. Good, where are you going? Oh, I see you're going up there as well. Um, I think you are the victorious uh, general who defeated the Carthaginians actually in this game. Um, right. Well, it looks like the Ligures aren't getting it. Um, unless. Can I raise an army up here? I can. Maybe I'll raise an army up here and start preparing. Who are my choices? That guy has a very high whatever that middle score is, wet cunning. I think I'll recruit him. I have some cavalry. Ready for orders. Ready for 
I can definitely feel like the time since I last played this. That's right, yeah, my bonus objective, I think, was to have an, one extra, like, to have conquered something over there, so I was trying to get that in the last turn before I got this, but I guess I should have written myself some notes. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What's my new mission? In Wenium, we, um, I seek a way. Oh, yeah, I shall find a way. Mm, beloved ruler, dreaded subjugator, builder of cities, destroyer of civilizations. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Control 25 settlements by either direct ownership or through client states and military allies. With some new bonus objectives. Uh, notorious subject, Porcia Caipio. Alright, um, so let's look at my objectives first. Uh, so I currently have 10 settlements, and 15 more. Bonuses controlling all of Cisalpina and Magna Graecia. Well, I've got all of Magna Graecia. Wait, oh, I don't because the Syracusans are my allies in Eastern Sicily. Cisalpina, um, one settlement in Mauritania and one in Africa. Okay. Interesting. Well, at least one sediment in Tarragonesis, Cartaginesis, and Baitica, so all three in Spain. Well, at least one sediment in the following provinces Provincia and Raetia at Noricum. And then be at war with Macedon. And be the overlord of one client state. Okay, cool. So hopefully I can make Syracuse a client state, and that will give me all of Magna Graecia. Yeah, so I guess this is to complete this objective, it wants me to be kind of like. Um, it wants me to hold. Spain. So this is post Second Punic War. Yeah. So it wants. This is about two. Like about two hundred, I guess. So I have about thirty-nine turns to get to the year two hundred and complete this objective, uh, essentially to kind of stay roughly historical in that sense. Um. Uh, hi, Pete Kelly. No, this is just a single player, uh, me as Rome. Um, you know, comparing the game to, uh, sort of playing along with history as you like, and uh, and comparing it to historical happenings and historical geography. So who was blocked? Oh, what's this sensitive from this guy? Okay. Polkia Caipio, young boy with an uncanny resemblance to a member of your family, has appeared. He claims to be the man's son by the daughter of another patrician family. Well, I'll just adopt him. Because. That seems like the least uh, strifey way to do it. Okay, so I guess there's now no real reason to attack that Apollonia because it's not part of my victory conditions. We 
hunger for battle. Um, I guess I need to be war with Apple with Macedon. It is an honor to serve Rome. Yes, yes. Okay, I might make. Can I get there? I might wait one more turn until that is complete before Ready I attack for there. March. Actually, you can keep going on Advance. this one. Finding and shelter. We'll wait and see whether you need to go north or east. cities here. I've got lots I can build up. Um, let's focus on Italia first. Actually, here's my uh, province display. So they're all happy. Italia is giving me the most wealth. What can I do to up that? How's it looking? Bread is good. Food is good in all of them. Public order is good in all of them. Can I have some growth maybe? Public order is always something that I'm concerned about. The food is more of a problem. I'm going to build some latrines. Latrines are good. And in Neapolis. I was doing a thing with my ports. I have a military wolf here. Maybe I'll up that. And that's down there, actually. Corralis. Your people are wounded by this war. Now is the chance to end the struggle. Take it or suffer more. Mm. I wonder if I can get something out of them here. I probably can't. 
<laughs> I had hoped that you were a philosopher and marshaled reason and good argument. I see I was wrong. Nope. Actually, uh, cheeky. from a rival rival faction is plotting my assassination um I'll just hire some bodyguards hmm, turns out he actually was well it doesn't matter because he is now because I adopted him so it doesn't matter what he was before Oh, the nuclear one. My library has been completed. Um, this Marcus, the dictator, has. Um, public order for military presence. Um, well, this is better. This aged retainer is better than this executioner, so I will replace him. Good. Last report. Ships. Okay, what's going on here? Right, Athens. For honor and glory, your orders. None shall pass. Um, do I want to fight this fleet battle? Votes. Votes from the audience. <laughs> My inclination is now it's probably gonna be close. I know that yeah, because I'll win this if I auto resolve it. Okay, so now I'm sort of where I would have been at had I succeeded in my attack last time, which I did not. Um, so you can go back to Brindisium. You can stay here. Um, I can't afford to upgrade anything there, that's going to be a bad look. Actually, the execution is exactly what I need. Um, so I'm gonna wait. Um, come on, uh, strategist, the warrior. Who is this guy? Is he one of mine? Successfully conquered Apollonia with the. I guess. Oh, no, that is the Legion, yeah. The Second Legion. 
Um, so that means that you don't need to go east. You can head north. So you, I'm just going to move you all the way up to here. It's going to take a few turns. Um, and we can start our Ligurian War, or Insumbrian War, as the case may be, actually. So 237, when the Sardines and the Corsicans, um, we'd usually say Sardinians. Glory, wealth, and a place in the histories. All of these will be ours when we are united as friends. Well, I do like the idea of a military alliance with Syracuse. Um, Thanks for your careful deliberations. I go to offer sacrifice to Athena, who has blessed us all with wisdom. Thanks, Metal Beard Man. As I was saying, when the Sardines and Corsicans My are revolted... My lord is willing to <sighs> lay down the sword. It is not often People. that he is moved to mercy. I'm trying to... I'm trying to talk about Livy here. Come on. Uh, well, I don't know why I was at war with you in the first place, Livia, so we can have a treaty. I think you're an ally of Carthage. Ah, my friend. Yeah. If the wisdom you possess were golden treasure, you could buy the known world. Hmm. Uh, as I was saying, Sardinian and Corsican revolts repressed. I bring word that my lord looks to end the war. He will not look to end it another day. Uh, sure. I will end this war with these people that I am not actually aware of. Your acceptance is welcome. My people, my master and the gods will all be pleased. Thank you, sir. And may I say that your beard is significantly more realistic than the last ambassador. Alright. Got rid of that assassination plot. Made some peace treaties, built some deck artillery, no more interruptions. Alright. So the Indian and Corsican re revolts repressed, and the Vestal Virgin Tukia was condemned for adultery. Uh, I totally had one of those a few turns ago, I think, uh, in the, somewhere in the middle of the last stream. There was a Vestal Virgin who was accused of adultery. Uh, if I remember correctly, I executed her, which is the traditional punishment. So, right. Well, I think I should. Dismantle a building, and should I dismantle all the buildings? I don't. I don't have that much money actually. What's my income happening? What's happening with my income? I think I might have spent too much on soldiers.
gotta take that upkeep cost reduction because my army is getting massive. Obviously, whenever you are at war with someone, it's a war of conquest, not a war of raiding, which was more appropriate for most of the Roman campaigns in this period. Um, did I get everything? I think I did. Uh, I did my research. Yeah, okay. 237. See you later. We have shed enough blood. Let there be peace for a time. I agree. Peace until the about hand of Balhamon is truly upon you if you show such wisdom in acceptance. What is this new god you have? Perhaps I should take him. Uh, the next comment from the Periokoe will be in 229. So there's a bit of a gap here. Adjusting the volume down a little bit from the audio seems a little high to me, but whenever I do it, it uh, involves turning away from the, the uh, de-emphasizing the screen, so it um, sounds very quiet. <laughs> Sora of the Table says, how many bowls of Peloponnesian War would it take to get all of the vitamins and minerals in just one bowl of Total War Rome 2? I would be very interested in a good Peloponnesian War game. Um, it's something that's kind of like low-key in the back of my mind actually to, to write a war game about the Peloponnesian War or some aspects of it. Um, if I ever end up teaching Greek history, that might be something that I sort of peer along with it. At the moment, I am a just just teaching Roman history, so I I don't have uh, it's not not what I focus on. So I don't really think about the Peloponnesian War stuff as much. Okay, maybe that'll, that'll hurt. Okay, so uh, meanwhile, back in the game world. I am being attacked by the Athenians. Um, and I think I'm going to fight this on the battlefield because... Oh, I don't have any cities and I don't have any um, buildings in the city yet. That's why I don't have any garrison forces. Um, but I think with those ratios, I will do better myself. So let's defend Apollonia. So this is uh, thoroughly ahistorical, fighting the Athenians in Apo Apollonia. So... I only have one heavy infantry unit. So I'm going to have to be a little careful about this. I don't have any walls or anything. General. I have a mostly... 
mostly intact. Uh, I have to remember how to. You have orders, sir. Oh, there we go. Okay. Spear infantry, my medium melee infantry, and I have the three lights. Missiles awaiting targets. Battle group awaiting orders. Brave Romans to a man. Okay. General, grouped and ready. Commander, battle group ready and awaiting orders. Three R E. All right, so I got my lights. Missile infantry. Ugh. That's not where they're gonna go. I gotta remember how to. There we go. Okay. Remember how it controls. So, where is the place I have to defend? Okay, here. Isn't that it? Sit there for now. General. I have Three -E. interior lines, so I should be okay to maneuver here to wherever I need to be. I don't know where he's gonna. Oh, he's over there. I forgot that it shows you. I think that's his entire army. Okay, so if he's going to be coming in this way. I don't know whether I should sit up in here. Missile infantry at your command. Maybe I will deploy my infantry. Oh, wait, yeah, in here. Spearman at the ready. Heavies back here. General. And my general back in here. It's not going to have particularly good command radius. All right, I think that's good enough. Let us begin. Pretty sure he only had five. The eyes of the units. And all Rome are upon us today. We must this is where it turns out he had six, and I get messed up by. Our Roman gods are watching. Dude coming Make from behind. Make sure they are not ashamed. For the gods! Romans, ready for duty! Riders, at the double! Riders, forward! Three are ye! Advance at speed! General! I'm not sure whether I should be going out this far to meet them. In the name of Rome! Missile infantry! What are those hoplites? Okay. Our general is under attack. Maybe 
Maybe I can pull away both of these hoplites. I have to be careful where I'm going to pull them to. Run away, man. Ready for duty, General! Come forward! Jupiter gives us strength! job. Get out of here. Come on. Run as quick as you can. Oh, they have abandoned. Actually, they no, don't sit up here. Guys, gone, gone. Nope. General. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Mm. Ready. Your order. Missiles ready and waiting. still alive. This is turning into a quite a mess. Okay, well they're gonna take care of them. Because okay. I need my general right. Okay, I'm winning here. They are losing decisively but they are holding up some troops. They have routed, so you can come over here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, good. Oof, that is. Man, my general is lucky to be alive after all that. Missiles awaiting targets. Spear infantry at your command. General, order them. coming back. I think you are. Okay, cool. Alright. I'm going to help win that one. Oh, they are winning. Okay. Ready and waiting. Okay, and they're beating up on the javelin. Mm, okay, I think this is going to go okay. <laughs> Silent 
victory at your command. Our men flee the field okay. of battle. This is a shameful display. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Alright, get him out. I need this. Start here back. This is probably... Oh, maybe they should have fought the government. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, that's it. Alright, good. Alright, now you get into the back of them. Prepare for another decisive rear charge. Oh. That, that green screen. Dramatic wardrobe bell function in the height of battle. is turning in our favor. Hmm. <sighs> that was pretty close. Penetrable wall. I don't know what that achievement is. Um, Alright, in battle. That is an extremely Peric victory. Which is appropriate because it was four neighbors where Paris is from. I definitely don't fight all of the battles on uh, myself when I play this. Um, it's interesting to see the way that different people think about the different games, generally. Um, with the Total War games, I usually think of them as primarily a kind of like uh, big level strategic game. Not so much of the battle game. I do like fighting the battles sometimes, but usually only when it's like that. It's like I am slightly outnumbered. And I, there's a real chance I might lose, but I, by fighting it myself, am going to hopefully do better than an AI and tip the scale slightly in my favor. Um, enslave the captives. 
Ugh. But the Spartans don't want to come and beat me up as well. Um. Yeah, whereas I think other people play it more as a battle game, I guess. I'm sure there are. Uh, Alright. Couple of rank increases and a new mission. Defeat the protectors of the colonies. I just made peace with them, come on. Well, I usually... Um, it's only 500. I don't... I don't usually chase those. If they are convenient, I do them. But otherwise, I don't. Okay. Sabotage. Poison the wells. Sorry, in Super A's. Like this one, for example, I'm not going to fight. Like I number them by what, a ridiculous amount. Three times, almost four. I guess it does give you the option that you could, I could, like, every year come in and raid them. Which would maybe be a slightly more period appropriate um, behavior for Rome in general. chance to meet to chat and share a sponge there's a lot of archaeological remains of Roman latrines um, and we know about uh, the sponge the Romans would put a sponge on the end of a stick to clean their butts after using the latrine um, um, and one of the reasons we know about this is there's a I think it's a. I don't forget if it was Cicero or Pliny. Someone tells of a story about a, a slave who committed suicide by, like, choking on the sponge, like shoving the sponge down their own throat. Um, which is a pretty like, good insight into the terrible existence of ancient slaves. This was considered by the writer um, as a kind of exhibition of the nobility of the slave in this particular case, that he had the kind of like will to commit suicide. Um, I probably should put content warning on all of my Roman history streams. Actually, I put a content warning on all of my classes, Roman history classes, because obviously this is a game about war. It deals with war, ancient war in the ancient world involved all sorts of um, terrible things. Uh, slavery was a big part of the Roman world. Um, I don't feel like this game kind of 
weight washes any of that. No, I haven't really thought deeply about how how it does treat it. It does treat you. It, I mean, it does give you the explicit kind of choice after every battle about whether to enslave the population or not, which is like not something that would have been a choice for uh, ancient people. I mean, I guess it was actually because every now and then we hear a story which is usually a remarkable incident of some people of a general not enslaving the population build this into a barracks There are a number of units that need to be improved. So let's make you a warrior. And you don't get anything. You can probably also be a warrior. Um. Where was I building that? Are you? Oh, yes, you it is you. Ah, oh, it assigned one to you already. Can I switch this out? Yeah, I can. Good. This army needs a tradition. They can have. That was. Um. I'm going to give it to the melee troops there. Anyone else? Okay, posthuma. Wait, why can't I click on that? Oh, there we go. Okay. You need cunning. the one I have to, that it wants me to destroy? Protectors of the colonies. Nope. Uh, I don't know where they are. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm not going to chase after them anyway. Not until about the end of, well, I guess towards the end of this, I will be taking on the Carthaginians. Right about 218. So, that's Genoa taking over. I think that's it for this turn. I guess I, I probably can't afford to build anything. No, I just need to end turn. Alright, yeah, so I've started on the uh, conquest of Cisalpine Gaul up there. Oh no, yeah, those Spartans. Oh, I should have brought the fleet across. No, that was silly. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to fight this because I'll just get. Well. Yeah, I don't know. No, I can't be bullied by that. Really, 
actually um, should be surrounded by people in togas. Probably. If the busts of the ancestors are out. That means they're in a Roman villa. Uh, and those guys should not be in uniform in a Roman villa. Decisive defeat. Oh, it is the Insubrates, okay, I didn't realize they had another, uh, another uh, city. Oh. More slaves for Roman fields and mines. As your power increases, so does the need to develop your military capabilities and civic infrastructure, which are of greater importance. Um, so civil progress will give me plus 20% civil research rate, or plus 20% military research rate. I'm gonna... What is it? 235? I think military is more in keeping with Rome. Water cleared. Some people in the north. Uh, a general that distrusts outsiders, which one are you? Oh, uh, because you're just camping out. Yeah, I guess if they just end up camping out somewhere, they get traits. Oh, you have a... That's a big army. Still. Um, sediment lost. Polonia uh, army destroyed, and another army destroyed. Okay. All right. What's the next? Two twenty nine. We're still way away from that. Nevertheless, I think it's going to be short and sweet tonight, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, at the end of two thirty five, having repelled an Insubrian um, attack on Genoa, and having been pushed out of Epirus. Yeah. Alright. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Gonna save this game. Uh, and I will see you uh, next time. Hopefully, I will manage to get Deus Ex working and I can stream that and talk about Cyberpunk. Um, but if not, I will be back with some more uh, Rome and some more Roman action. Salve et toilette.